right, church. Now, this guy here is known as the Kuwati. Fast, cunning, and a climber. So how on earth do you catch one? Keep watching. All right, we're out here in the Pampas region. And you just see how open and beautiful this landscape is. It's absolutely amazing. Now, the funny thing is, well, this is the Ranchero country, as they call it, here in Bolivia. And essentially, the ranchers here, they run a lot of cattle. Both, I think it's been Brahmin that I've been seeing, and a lot of buffalo as well. But the great thing about being here in the dry season is obviously, A, the insects aren't as crazy. But B, what happens is the water kind of dries up and creates these small pockets of water, these small water bodies. And essentially, that's where the animals are coming down to drink. So I've been seeing capybaras, I've been seeing the black caimans, and these small bodies of water. And not just that, a lot of your predators will come here as well, your pumas, your oscillates, and also prey items. I've seen armadillos and giant anteaters on the walk, on the prowl. And the reason is, well, you've got a large landscape here and with the small pockets of water. Church, you've got to come for a drink. Now, the Kawadi spends the hottest parts of the day within the canopy, but during the early morning and late afternoon, he will venture away from this retreat and out into the open floodplain. It is here where he hunts for food, amongst the small pockets of remaining water. So I'm walking on the edges of the canopy line. This helps to conceal my image, but also gives me the advantage of pursuit. If a Kawadi does try to retreat back into the understory, well, Church is going to have to get through me first. After some tedious prowling through the floodplains, I have managed to get a visual of a small coyote on the hunt. The advantage of the long grass helps in my surprise attack. But trust me, Church, these little guys are like lightning, and you have to keep them away from the trees. I know, right? I have to get a different job. All right, well, I don't know where he's went. Right, I've been chasing, I've been chasing a group of coyotes, and they've come into long grass. And now I'm just trying to find them. I just, I managed to flush them out just, just here from where the canopy is, and I've just been trying to, trying to get them out to the open, but I think I've lost them now. All right, well. <laughs> if you knew what I had to go through to be able to show you what I'm about to show you. Okay, he's exhausted because it's hot. I'm exhausted because it's hot. I'm about to show you what I've been chasing. Okay, just. This here, now this guy, he's called a kawadi. I'm about to cut down a couple of trees to get him. But I finally managed to round this little guy up. Stop. Stop. Now I'm just going to try and pick him up. Oh! Okay, I got you. Okay, he's just going to some shade. He's just going to some shade. Let me just get him out. There we go. There we go. Ah, ah, you're okay, you're okay. So, now this guy, this is known. This is known as a kawadi. Now I'll tell you what, the only way to catch him is to cut down trees when they get out into the open and then to chase them and chase them and chase them. And that's the only way you can catch them is you've got to run them down, you've got to get them tired and you can just see him. He's pretty tired right now. Now, they do get a lot bigger than this, the coyotes. This is essentially juvenile going into adult form. 
but the amazing thing is these animals here in the jungle they're very very difficult to catch but out here in the open savannah you can flush them you can get them out into the open but you need to cut down trees you need to push them out into a direction where you can essentially catch them that's the only way you're absolutely amazing now the amazing thing about these guys is they've got brilliant sense of smell they kind of remind me a little bit almost of like a pig across a weasel you're okay mate hey come on calm down you're okay you're okay so the coat is very similar to that of the European fox. And even the dental structure may be quite similar as well. But the noses on these guys is absolutely amazing. They can sniff out absolutely anything. They are omnivore, particularly they eat fruit, they eat small reptiles, birds, mammals. And I'll tell you what, they can put up quite a chase. And you can just see, I've literally lost part of my shoe. You're okay, hey, come on. Part of my shoe in trying to catch this guy across the floodplain, just been running, running, running. Hey, you're okay. Look at you. You're beautiful. Look at him. Okay, mate, you're all puffed out. I'm gonna give you a relief. <laughs>